Hello guys, welcome to Cartooning with Paul. Today I'm going to show you how to draw Elmer Fudd from Looney Tunes. So come on, let's get started. Uh... I'm sorry guys, I couldn't resist. I promise not to do that anymore this episode. Let's dive into Elmer Fudd. Okay, so in starting Elmer Fudd, we're going to start with our favorite shape, the circle. Uh, and I'm going to draw him on an angle, so he's facing this way, looking at us, but the body is on a three-quarter angle. So the vertical axis will go here. The horizontal will go right about here. So now what I'm going to do, before I do anything, I'm going to give a quick little... <laughs> I'm going to give a quick little oval here to take place of his nose. And then I'm going to throw in like a, an oblong shape right here for his cheeks. It's just rough. From here, I'm gonna throw in an oval here for one eye and then I'm gonna mirror that over here with a more narrow oval here for the other eye. And then I'm just gonna work off of that circle, give him a bit of a shape like that. Now from there, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to, off of this shape, I'm gonna give him a little bit of a cheek line like that, and then I'm actually going to give him his cheek like that. Elmer Fudd has a very rounded nose and depending on the director, um, they'll sometimes straighten it out at the top. He has a very small mouth for this large head and no upper lip. So we'll bring that in and bring it up. And then I'm gonna give him that little boyish grin that he has. A lot of people don't realize Elmer Fudd is a very happy man. He's not, not necessarily a bad guy but he doesn't like being made a fool of and that happens to be one of Bugs Bunny's favorite things to do so here we go we've got his lower lip and now I see how I want to fix this cheek I'm gonna come up like that and round it there like that and then Gonna darken this part just like that. His other cheek. I'm gonna bring it in like this. His ear will come off of there. Like so. And I'm just gonna throw in his pupils because I already can tell where I want him looking. All right. When I first started designing my own character, I borrowed a lot from Elmer Fudd. Actually, I don't like that cheek. I like his jowls, but not quite that bad. Okay, yeah. Let's do what I should have done. Oh, that's better. Oh, okay. Yeah. See, sometimes the eraser is your best friend. All right, so let's throw the back of the head in. And now let's give him his hat. He's a hunter, right? He hunts for sport. So we have to give him his hunter's cap. So we've got the top of the hat here, 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to draw in a shape like this. So we're going to come off of this part of the hat and then I'm going to come up here like this and then across here like that. Nice and round the top of the hat. There's a line that comes down like that. And then for some reason, there's a bow on top. Fashion changes over the years. I would imagine back in the, the 30s and 40s when he was, they must have had, I think I just, <laughs> I think I've just figured out, <clears throat> after decades of drawing this character, I think I just figured out what this bow is up here. I think he had flaps that came down off of the hat, and that's what this red part is. It's the two flaps, and they're tied up at the top. I could be wrong, but I might be right. Okay, and then there's a small visor that comes off of the front of his hat. creases in here. And boy, oh boy, Elmer, you're looking good. All right, so now, if we're going to draw his whole body in, he has two heads tall, and that's including the hat. So we just bring that down. There's the floor. Halfway will be his waist, and we're going to give him an action line like this. Okay. give him his belly and from there we're just gonna bring it up like this his legs are going to come down here like that and then his feet are going to that's rough we may fix that okay so now He's wearing a hunter's outfit. He's got a hunting jacket on that has a lapel. My favorite of the Elmer Fudd cartoons are the Duck Season, Wabbit Season hunting trilogy. Chuck Jones directed these cartoons and they're absolutely hysterical. The whole premise is Elmer is out in the woods going to hunt. Daffy and Bugs happen to be together in the woods and instead of trying to convince Elmer that it's not in season to hunt, Daffy decides to throw Bugs under the bus and try to convince Elmer that it's rabbit season. Well, naturally, Bugs has to then try to push Elmer toward duck season and hilarity ensues. There's a lot of great comedy in these cartoons. I highly recommend you check them out if you've never seen them, but you probably have. Check them out again. Pronoun trouble. I love it. We're going to give him a cargo pocket just like this. Now, let's throw in those feet. And I don't like how I just quickly sketched it, so let me fix it a little bit. Oh, there we go. Okay, feet are a little big, but it works. I've done a little bit of work there for Warner Brothers back in the days of the studio store. Nothing, nothing earth shattering. I helped with a couple projects they needed some help in. And uh, I had such a great time.
I don't want this to get controversial. I think we're okay, right? Homer's hunting. So he has to have his tools of the trade. Now there's a sight. There's the muzzle. his fist around it and that ought to do it guys if you like drawing videos like this I've got whole playlists full right over here for you so go on and check those out if you like this video please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you're aware of my next video I want to thank you guys so much for drawing with me today and until the next video we will see you later.